Hey guys, it's Camille, and today I'm giving you the long-awaited video that everyone asks for, and that is my hair care routine. And this routine that I'm showing you is drugstore, and all of the products are very affordable, and I've been using this routine for the past year or so on my hair, and as you can see, my hair looks pretty good. It looks better than it used to back when I used to dye it more frequently, which I will be getting back into later at the end of the summer. But you guys always ask what products I use in my hair, so I filmed this video showing you guys exactly what I do. So let's go get into that video. So first you start out with your dutty hair, and I have mine in a bun to get it out of my way, but let's let that hair out of the bun so we can do things to it. This is a hot oil treatment that you could use either hot or room temperature that I talked about in another video that I'll link down below. But basically you just put this in your hair, put it in your roots, put it in your ends, middle part of your hair, just put it everywhere. And I like to do hot oil treatments before I wash my hair, either the night before or a few hours before, just so I can get my hair to soak up those extra nutrients and be moisturized. But for this, I did this the night before, and when I do that, I like to wrap my hair up uh, put it back in a bun and then I cover it with either a plastic bag or a shower cap. I don't really have shower caps, so I use a plastic bag. I let it sit in there the night before, I sleep with it on, and then that way the heat from my head kind of activates the oil, keeps my hair moisturized and really silky and healthy. So then the next day I take my hair out of that bun that has the oil in it and I get all of my hair wet to start out with just so I can kind of rinse out a little bit of the oil and so it will be easier to spread the shampoo in my hair. This is the Garnier Triple Nutrition Shampoo and I've been using it for a long time and I just squeeze out a good amount, um, more than a quarter size, I have a lot of hair. Then I use some castor oil like this and I mix it in with the shampoo because the shampoo has sulfates in it and this just makes it a little bit less harsh and more moisturizing when I wash my hair. It will turn to this like whitish foamy color when you mix it. Then I start at the roots and I just kind of put this at the edges of all of my hair, so the front, sides, and back, just to kind of get it all around my scalp. And then I work it to the center of my scalp, and basically that's what you wanna focus on when you're washing your hair, especially if you have curly hair. The scalp is what needs to be washed. That's the dirtiest part with all the sebaceous glands and all the sweat and dirt. You wanna focus on that and not the actual hair that's hanging down. Um, because that's where all of the dirt is and that's where you want to wash out without drying out your hair too much. But you do want to pull the shampoo to the rest of your hair a little bit, like that's just not where you want to focus. Then you want to rinse that out and rinse it out really well, get out all of that shampoo out of your hair. You don't want to leave any of that in your hair. Now if I haven't done my hot oil treatment, I'll go in with this Osmo Intensive Deep Repair Mask that I saw someone else use, someone else's curly hair on YouTube, and I bought it on Amazon since it's not sold in the US. It's a, a European brand, but you use that in between washing and shampooing your hair, and it's just like a deep repair mask. It restores moisture and kind of helps your hair if it's been damaged, and I use a good chunk of that because I do have a lot of hair. I work that through my hair and I let it stay in there for like four or five minutes. That's what the container says to do, so I just follow the instructions and then I tie my hair up in a bun while I'm waiting for that to soak into my hair. I'll shower, do whatever for those five minutes and then afterwards I'll rinse it out. I just do a quick rinse because you don't really need to get all of it out and next is conditioner anyways. So I use the Garnier Triple Nutrition Conditioner which is very thick and very nice. And that's what got me onto the whole line of triple nutrition anyways. So I spread that out in my hair evenly. I use a huge chunk of it because I have a lot of hair. I have curly hair. So I need to use a lot of that stuff to coat everything. Then I use my big paddle brush starting at the ends to comb that through. You could use a wide tooth comb like a lot of curly people like, but I just find that this is easier and quicker and it doesn't destroy my hair. It's a good way to untangle your hair. Um, instead of using a wide tooth comb. It also works a bit faster and kind of feels good on your scalp too, so there's that. And also helps kind of stimulate your scalp to help your hair grow, so I like that about it. So work your way from the bottom to the top combing out your hair, and then when that's done you could use either a comb or just your hands to make a part, and then comb it out again so that your hair is combed around your part. Squeeze out the excess water and conditioner on both sides, and then I go in with my Softy Indian Hemp Oil that smells so good. 
I use a big amount of this too because I have a lot of hair. I start around the part to kind of smooth the edges and then I smooth all the other edges down because this will really help it look smoother and not be frizzy when you're done. Then I take the rest throughout my hair and kind of make it even but also make sure that all of my hair gets coated. And then I brush it out again with the same paddle brush just to spread everything out and kind of redefine the curls and make sure nothing's tangled. Also because this oil gives your hair a different consistency than the conditioner did since that's water-based. I like to tilt my head sideways and brush down so I can get the hair to not be so laid down on my scalp so it can kind of add some volume and dry outwards instead of slick down to my scalp. Get rid of that extra water and just make sure that you comb your hair or brush your hair while it's still wet and kind of get those curls to be untangled um, and kind of falling away from your scalp. Then I like to run my fingers through it sometimes. Outward, just kind of finger comb a little bit. Now you want to get a cotton t-shirt, a really big one. This one's from my AP Stats kickball game in high school. <laughs> you want to hold the ends like this and then put it behind your hair. Then you want to tie it at the front of your head, just kind of at the edges of your scalp to make sure that it kind of circles around all of your hair. Then you want to fold it inwards and use your hands to kind of scrunch it to your hair so you can kind of dry it out a little bit. Then you want to fold your hair up and put it on your head, kind of wrapped up in the shirt like that. After 20 minutes or so, I let my hair out and let it continue to air dry on its own. I scrunch it using my hands so I can kind of define the curls like that. And it just kind of gives more shape and makes your curls look better when you do this. So just keep scrunching while it's still drying and shake it out. I look like a, a Muppet? A mop. I don't know. <laughs> and after you do that, your hair should be nice and curly, but still wet. And there's my favorite movie, yeah, Back to the Future. So after I get out of the shower and my hair is wet and I've already combed in the conditioner and I've combed in the oil and whatever I'm putting in my hair, I will just let it dry. And that is the most annoying part of this whole routine because I have a lot of hair. Like this is a lot. Um, it takes forever for it to dry. I usually have to wait about six hours for it to completely air dry, which sounds so obnoxious. And you guys are probably wondering like, why don't you just blow dry it? Um, one, because heat is the devil, especially when it comes to curly hair or dyed hair or damaged hair. And uh, yeah. Secondly, blow dryers kind of mess up curls. Like you can use a diffuser, but still it's gonna kind of ruin the curls at least a little bit. And the best way to use a blow dryer is to just use it with the diffuser and just kind of dry it mostly and then let it finish drying on its own, which would still make you have to wait anyways. And the less heat that you put on your hair, the better it is for it. So I just don't blow dry. Also, you never run a comb or a brush through your hair after it's dry. You just never do that if you have curly hair. You will ruin the curls, you will just make it frizz, you will break it. So after it's dry, you are done. Like you do not touch your hair. You leave it be, you let the curls do their thing until the next time that you want to wash your hair. Anyways, this is how I've been doing my hair for the past year. This routine works really well for me, but I'm trying to change it up a little bit, try new things, see if I can find anything I like better. So in a few months from now, if I find that I like these products better, then I'll make an updated hair care routine. But this is what I've been doing and sometimes I do change it up a little bit to get bigger hair. Um, this routine gives me like my normal curls with like the normal amount of volume, but there are some things that you can tweak and modify to get bigger hair, which is fun sometimes. It's, it's fun to have big hair. It takes you back to the 80s. I remember those good old days before I was born. But anyways, I hope you guys found this video informative or at least entertaining. If you guys have any curly hair tips or basically just any hair care or hair routine tips or a favorite product that you have in your own personal hair care routine, leave it in a comment down below and I'll be reading all of them and responding to them and I just love getting tips from you guys or like product recommendations and sometimes I actually end up buying some products that you guys recommend. So thanks for that. So anyways, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I also have other social media all linked down below. I have a blog, Instagram, Twitter, all that jazz that you can check out. So thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Kisses. Mm-hmm.